everyone, or anyone who might still be there. Yeah, hi, it's Katie again. So, I've really been wanting to start vlogging again, because I was sort of vlogging a little bit before, but not so much. Uh, I had, back when I was posting little, like, vlogs and I was walking and everything, I had an iP iPod, an iPod Touch, and that was how I was making a lot of those videos. And so, one of the reasons I haven't been making videos very much is because I don't really have anything to make videos with. Um, I have, uh, my mom's camera, which I only can use every once in a while because sometimes she wants to use it too, so sometimes I might do that, but... This Christmas, I got a smartphone! Ah, what? <laughs> yeah, I know. Crazy. I actually, it's my first smartphone that I've ever had. And it's a Samsung Galaxy S5. So let's hope all goes well. Um, my boyfriend, Justin, you'll hear me talk about him a lot. Um, he started doing this vlog, for, like, every day. Um, or almost every day with his computer because he got a new laptop. And, and I kind of inspired him to do that, and then I've been really wanting to get back into it myself. And some of you guys might know me from Munchie's channel. Munchie, hi, if you're out there! Uh, we went to Vlogger Fair this year, and it was awesome! But, <laughs> also you might, if you could hear, I have a slight bit of a cold, or just a stuffy nose. It's pretty much gone. But, um, now that I have a smartphone, I think I'm going to try to make vlogs again. Because I really enjoy doing that. And, like... Justin and I might even do these this back and forth thing because uh, where we live, he kind of lives. I mean, he's it's not super long distance, but it's not like next door in the same like like I'm I'm in like Bellevue, Seattle, whatever that area, and he's all the way in Everett. And anyone who lives in this area would know how diff how long that is. So this is also going to be a way for us to kind of like watch videos of each other every so often and maybe say hi. But so, what I'm doing these days, i just going to school, like I always have been for the past, like, two years, uh, focusing on, uh, theater, because I love theater, I've always loved theater, acting and singing, always loved it, uh, but, and I'm also working at a pool, and so, just part-time, barely, like, at all, uh, and this quarter, I am currently in a show at my school, which is exciting. It's called Carnival, and it's going to be a really great show. And I'm super, super excited for it. Um, it's basically, I don't know if you ever saw the movie Lily. It was this movie from, like, the 60s that um, was about this orphan girl who came to a carnival and kind of changed it for the better, I would say, and kind of fell in love, fell in love with someone. Uh, someone fell in love with her. It was kind of all that glam, but... That's the, sh that's the same show, basically. Carnival's the Broadway version of it. That was the movie version of it. So, I'm really excited. I play a clown named Sonny, the happy clown. Now, let me just say, I have issues with the clowns. They make me uncomfortable. They never, like, used to when I was, like, younger, but they do now. <laughs> and blame it on, like, it, that movie, or whatever. No, it's not, because <laughs> I love that movie. Anyways... <laughs> No, I just, clowns aren't my favorite, and I say it's because they're part of the Uncanny Valley, which is my favorite way to explain it, which I actually learned from Justin. Uncanny Valley is like anything that's almost human, but not, like ventriloquist dolls, or clowns. Uh, zombies can even be considered part of that. Um, any sort of dolls, something that just looks creepily realistic, but, you know. <laughs> Anyways, so, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be different. Uh, I will, it will help me get over my issues with clowns. I mean, it's not like I'm scared and, like, would scream and run away. They just make me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> but, anyways, so I'm really hoping to start making more vlogs because I love it. And I watch vlogs all the time. There's some Seattle vloggers like Chris Perillo and Barnacles, Nerdgasm, Jerry. I love them all, and of course I watch the Shaytard still, like I always have for a while. I think I made a video about Colette, or something, uh, earlier. But, um, I'm gonna try to see if I can do this, I might do, try, I, I'm gonna see what it looks like with my phone video, or if I should turn it, or whatever I should do, or, so I'll probably be going back and forth between either using my phone, or my mom's camera, maybe my webcam, if I can sort of figure out, I'm kind of terrible with uh, computers, uh, so I can't seem to access my 
videos that I make with my webcam from my regular desktop because I have Windows 8, which sucks. Uh, Windows 8.1, excuse me. Um, and so they're all like separated and I was trying to, like, Justin was trying to help me with it and said to look in, like, a certain, like, it should be in documents or something. I was like, it's not there. So hopefully, maybe I can find that out and I can do some non shakety rickety videos because who knows. Uh, yeah, so I'll probably just be, like, making little videos here and there, talking to Justin. Uh, and, yeah, it's going to be fun. And I'll probably be doing more out and about things because it's my phone and I've been really, really busy. <laughs> oh, another thing I'm doing for Carnival, the show that I'm in, I have to learn how to juggle. So maybe I could like monitor and start showing how my juggling skills are improving too. But I'm really excited. Uh, I had a wonderful break from school this like um Christmas break, wonderful Christmas. I spent basically, I spent Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and the next morning until like early afternoon with Justin, and it was really great. He got to meet my mom's side of the family, and it was wonderful. It was so exciting. Um, and he also met my nephews that I hadn't seen for like five years that came into town the other day. They were here for a few days, and uh, they went back on Sunday. And my oldest brother, Chris, was visiting too. So it was really nice to see them. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll talk about things more like what I got for Christmas. Ooh, speaking of, I want to show you guys something. One of my favorite Christmas presents. Sorry, it's going to go a little dark. Ah, oh, okay. Um, that I got was from Justin. He made this beautiful, beautiful poster for me. It's probably the sweetest thing I've ever gotten in my life. And it is beautiful. I'm gonna see if I can try to show it, but I'm gonna have to turn this. It's right there. See? There's a little rose and there's a stem that goes off and spells the words to the song Beautiful Day, which is one of our favorite songs. And he worked so hard on it. It was so amazing. I I love it. I wanna like frame it. It is so beautiful and it has the words to the song, It's a Beautiful Day, you know, I'm in love, it's a beautiful day, I'm in love, it's a beautiful way, those words, but it's awesome. And on the back, um, the sweetest thing that he said was, uh, he had a little note at the bottom that said, for you, uh, for Katie, my love, a rose without thorns, for you have taken the thorns out of my life, and... That is amazing, and I know, I'm know i sure he doesn't mind me sharing that, because that's really special to me and special to him, and he's been through a lot, a lot, a lot, and so it's really nice to be able to be that influence in his life, and I love it, and I love him, and you'll probably be hearing about him a lot, so. <laughs> All right, let me go back out of there. Ah. Yeah, right now, what I have to do is schoolwork. Yay. I'm taking sociology. That's the only class I'm taking other than carnival. Uh, which I know sounds kind of like what, but carnival takes up a lot of time. And so I got this book today for my school, and it's called You May Ask Yourself. And so I have to read the first chapter before tomorrow. Luckily I was able to get it today then, because it's kind of difficult to keep up with that stuff. So wish me luck on that. <laughs> All right. Well, peace. I will see you later. Bye.